Hi, I'm Sheriff Gary Hoffman. I want to welcome you to our April Fool's edition of Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted. Everyone thinks of April Fool's as the time to play a joke on somebody. But let's not forget those who have April Fool's birthdays. This edition is specifically dedicated to those who have a birthday in the month of April. For those of you who need a ride to the office, I promise I will show up in a black unmarked SUV, tinted windows and everything just to give you that ride for this special birthday occasion. I want to take this time to let you know during this season of springtime, everyone always thinks cookouts are always on the mind. So when you have a birthday party, you have great food and great cookouts. At the Sheriff's Office, I can promise you, we're going to provide you with a meal that you'll never forget. We're going to provide you with a slice of white bread, a slice of bologna, and an applesauce cup. And everybody loves a special birthday cake. So I can promise you that if you don't turn yourself in and we have to come get you with my party crowd, we're going to take and have a special birthday cake just for you. The only caveat is the deputies are going to enjoy your birthday cake while you're locked up. Joseph Clinton Root, who was on a probation for a DWI charge and was charged with violating that probation. Root was to appear in circuit court on April the 5th, 2016, and was a no-show. The arrest warrant that was issued shows Root's address as Commerce Street in Harrington, Delaware, but he may be living in Smyrna as well. Root is a 32-year-old white male with brown hair and brown eyes. He was born on April the 10th, 1995, so this is a belated birthday wish. He's six foot, 186 pounds. We're pretty sure this fugitive is in Delaware. If you have any information on his whereabouts or want to help us bring him that special birthday gift, please send us that anonymous tip. We're pretty sure this person's in Delaware as well as a fugitive. Shamika Deenan Connor failed to appear on a 2015 failed to appear driving while under the influence charge, revoked, which resulted in a bench warrant issued for her arrest. She's listed as five foot eight inches tall, 273 pounds with tattoos on her left arm, her left hand, and she was born April 23rd, 1982. 2008 arrest warrant for bad checks is on file for Thomas Edward Nichols. At the time the warrant was issued, Nichols was living in Graysonville. 10 years ago, Nichols was listed as five foot eight inches tall, 140 pounds. We found him on Facebook and it looks like he hasn't changed too much. He was in Germany at some time and now lives in Huntsville, Alabama. At this time, Queen Anne's County won't extradite him, but if at some point he's located in an area where we have approval to extradite him, we promise we'll bring him back or hopefully he'll come turn himself in. His birthday is April the 29th. Ed Lezer Menendez wanted on a 2009 bench warrant for driving without a license. Address given was Henderson Road in Marydell. Mendez is listed as 5 foot 4, 100 pounds, also known as Rodolfo Gonzalez and Francisco Roja. Many times, warrants like this are impossible to serve because there's no information to identify them. Here, Queen Anne's County deputies are instructed to bring anyone in who is driving without a license that cannot be properly identified. They are then photographed and fingerprinted by a live scan system. So in this case, we do have a photo. So take a look, who knows? You may know him by another name. He was born on April the 17th, 1982. Let's bring him some really good birthday wishes. Renee Heyman is wanted for a failure to appear in district court on a controlled dangerous substance charge back in December of 2015. When the warrant was issued, she was staying on Front Street in Crumpton, but had left the area before we were able to serve the warrant. Heyman is 37 years old, 5 foot 1, 130 pounds. Surfing the web resulted in locating her last address as Panama City in Florida. She was charged with breaking into cars and a controlled dangerous substance violation with other individuals also from Queen Anne's County. Again, the charge doesn't justify the expense to return her to Queen Anne's County. In the event someone knows her or knows when she'll be back to Maryland, please give us that tip. Her birthday is April the 10th, 1980. Another unlicensed driver 
born in April, is Pedro Garcia. He was stopped in 2007 driving a 1989 Honda with Tennessee plates on Route 302 near Dixon Tavern Road. Garcia was transported to the Sheriff's headquarters and processed. He was taken to a judicial commissioner at the district court. Commissioners who released him on his own recognizance probably thought that he would return. Garcia gave an address of Ackerman Road in Stevensville. He was listed as five foot, 10 inches tall, 175 pounds. When he failed to appear in August, a bench warrant was issued. Attempts to serve the warrant resulted in learning that he had left the area. His birthday is on April the 18th. So please take the time to send us that anonymous tip or any information that you have on any of the above wanted persons. As always, special thanks to Queen Anne's County TV, the Queen Anne's County Commissioners, but you the viewer for making Queen Anne's County one of the safest counties on the shore. We appreciate your tips, your trust, and your support.